All right, guys, welcome back to Armella Gaming. We are in Fallout, hanging out in the hub outside of Crimson Caravan. Last time we ran into the Mutant Herald that we know from Fallout 3, who's the uh, tree man, as well as we wandered into a creepy basement, met some Thieves Guild members and the leader of Fargo Traders. So this time, since we have a few days before we could go out on a caravan trip with the uh, Crimson Caravan, because it is currently the 24th, and I think she said something about the 3rd is when they go out. I was hoping maybe to run into the 3rd caravan, because I have no idea where that is. And they did say that there is three of them. We know Crimson Caravan, we know Fargo Traders here. I don't even know the name of the other one though. So let's wander around a little bit and see if we can find it. Oh yeah, and if we run past this place, these guys are nuts. They just open fire on us for no reason. <laughs> and we can't beat them. I've tried a couple times, died, wasn't happening. So we'll just try to stay away from there. And sorry, I know my voice sounds totally off. I've been very sick, so it's really scratchy. My apologies. Um, there's nothing over here. Let's run back this way, please. I know this guy. His name's Jacob, I want to say. He's got some pretty decent weapons and armor I want to get when we finally get some money. And here's the friendly neighborhood drug dealer here. Oh, I didn't actually want to talk to you. I'm just hanging out. Thank you. Bye bye. So there's nothing this way. Where is the third caravan? I must be missing part of the town. Maybe if I talk to a guard. I think this is where, yeah, this is where the Thieves Guild place is. I don't think they actually call themselves that, but that's what I'm calling them. I've played enough Skyrim and Oblivion. They are the Thieves Guild. Not much in there. This is where the Tree Man is, and who are you? Oh, hang on. Uh, I talked with Harold. The death claw sounds pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? So it seems he knows something about the death claw. Death claw, death claw, da da, death claw. Come on, what do you know about the death claw? This person is insane. And I think, was I talking to. Uh, what was her name? I forget her name. But there was a lady we were talking to about the death claw that works for Fargo Traders, and she sent us to Harold. But I remember her saying something about the insane man knowing something about him, but just thinking he was nuts. But I didn't realize it was this insane man. I thought maybe it was another one. So let's talk to him. Deathclaw scary, really scary. Looks neat though, wanna see it. You can take me to the Deathclaw? <sighs> well, this seems like a horrible idea. But, I mean, yeah, why not? Let's go see the death claw. I saved not too long ago. I mean, what could go wrong with this? Just shut up and take me there. Well, that figures. I wandered everywhere trying to find the death claw and I just stumbled upon it. Pieces of a broken egg shell. And that's it there, isn't it? A dying mutant. Not a dead mutant, a dying mutant. <sighs> oh my god. Attack the death claw. Eh, sure. <sighs> Let's give it a go. I like doing insane stuff on occasion. <laughs> so we need this. Um, what else do I want? I know I don't need the stim pack in my item slot to heal me, but I need them if I want to heal these guys. But I also want to throw grenades at the death claw. <laughs> so I guess I'll put that in there. 
All right, Ian, dog meat. I have a very bad plan for us. Let's go. <laughs> He's so going to kill us <laughs> so, so quickly. You stay over there. What is the... Uh, hang on. Can you not do that with the grenade? Or am I just not doing it right? No? Because that's it there, so you just can't do it with a grenade. Okay. Target out of range. Okay, that's why it's not showing me the percentage. Well, let's move closer to the death claw. Because that seems like a good idea. Wait, was that negative 19%? I shouldn't have thrown. Jeez. Wait, am I all out of grenades? But I had five of them. Your weapon dropped and you hurt yourself. So is it saying I essentially threw a grenade so badly that I dropped them all and hurt myself? Okay. Well, let's uh, see what we can do with this. No chance of hitting its eyes. 19% the head. Well, if we shot him in the groin, would that be better? I mean, it is a soft spot, hypothetically. Let's do it. I missed. That's what happened there. Damn. Should I move back? Oh, there's my grenades. Oh. Oh. Just don't hit dog meat, okay? So, I missed it, but it said something about bruises being nice party talk. I want my grenades back. Of course, he's too close to really throw them at him anyway. Let's go for the eyes. 49% chance, almost 50. Hit him in the eyes. Ooh, Deathclaw was critically hit in the eyes for 30 hit points, slipping past the huge claws to strike the monster. The Deathclaw shakes and growls. So we got a decent hit in there. Oh, and I'm... Oh, I'm not dead. But I was critically hit for 24 hit points. Feeling the pain. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's heal up. No, that's not what I want. What I want is this set. There we go. And use it. And another one. Okay, I'm still alive. But I can't shoot it because of the lack of AP, so I can't really do anything. Even if I didn't use VATS, what I can do is use those four AP points to... I can't use grenades, it's too close. I guess this? How much AP does this take? I don't remember. Let's put it in there, though. I can use it when I uh, can't use the gun. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. It didn't tear me apart that time. It has infected wounds, so I guess that's good. Let's go for the eyes again. 17 hit points, so I've done 47 hit points. Just me, that I know of. And Ian and Dogmeat's been hitting it. Okay. Just don't turn and hit Dogmeat. Stay on me. A serious wound is infected. I mean, it's either going to kill us or not live long enough for the infection to kill it. So I don't know what that'll do for us. 
Alright, well, let's roll the dice. Go for the eyes again. Six hit points that time. Not great. Ooh, knocked me down. Jeez. That was painful, but we're still alive. <sighs> How many hit points does this bloody thing have? I'm starting to think I should have put it in stim packs. Well, you can only put one in, huh? So wouldn't have helped that much. Let's use a bunch of these. How many hit points should I have? 46? Ooh, should I use one more? Uh, might be worth it. Heal up. I'd be wasting some health, but... I also risk dying if I don't. No, no, we won't. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. And we can't hit him with that. Can we hit him with this? We can. <laughs> she kind of bonk it, not the crowbar. Ah, dude. Stop that. Uh, I'm basically just trying to heal through his crap long enough for Ian and Dogmeat to get him, but they're not doing a heck of a lot of damage, are they? And if I shoot, I'm definitely gonna die. If I don't kill it. But, I also don't have a lot of stim packs left. I can't keep this up forever. But, another round. Do I have a gun that uses less AP? Let's uh, look. What does this use? Where can you tell, is my question, without sticking it in an inventory, I mean. Damage, range. Huh, I don't see where you can tell. Well, either way, we'll put it in there and try it. Come on, dude, just give me like a little scratch so I can I can hit you. Come on, guys. <sighs> I'm going to risk it, hitting him in the eyes. Yeah, I missed. That was, that was not worth it. Oh, it's this five. Yeah, that won't work either. Well, I might have died from that. Jeez, come on. Ooh, I got lucky. That's what happened there. How many hit points do you have, you bloody demon? I mean, I don't have a choice. I have to heal up. Will you... Come on, hit the thing. Why is it not... Probably because I'm not doing it right, but, you know. What about this other gun? The one we got off that, uh, one guy who got us kicked out of junk town for his murder. I don't see it. Did I drop it? That's very odd. I must have dropped it or something. On accident. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. In lieu of the stim pack, what does this do? Never mind. Um, I'm gonna put a stim pack in here. And uh, stop doing things, please. 
And if he doesn't hurt me too much, I can use it and then I can shoot him on the next round. So, three, six, not great. Shoot him more, Ian. Please. I backed up some, so not as good at odds. Well, let's see, we need two for the stim pack and six to shoot him. So I can't move. Well, we'll heal. And, oh, I thought I had enough to, hmm, huh, too much AP used. Well, we'll move closer for the next turn. If I don't get knocked back. Oh, I don't like this. I'm just going through all of my stem packs. You know what? I'm going to put in this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but as long as I don't accidentally kill dog meat or, you know, Ian or myself, <laughs> that matter. Um, ah, screw it. Let's try it. Oh, did that work? <laughs> Holy crap, it worked. And dog meat was hurt, but he's still alive. The death claw is dead and my whole team's alive. <laughs> I think it might be okay. I'm calling that a win. I mean, that was so freaking stupid, but um, I can heal our people and it's dead, so I win. Are you okay, dog meat? I'm so sorry, sweetie. One, two, three, four, five. Here, I'm gonna heal you, okay? I was being dumb, but you're okay. You've taxed her ability with that. How about doctor? Can I doctor? You fail to do any healing. Fail to do any healing. Five. Cannot get there. That's weird. Okay, well, we'll just avoid fighting anything for a little bit. You have nothing on you, stupid death lizard. All right, well, we did that. Yay, team. Sometimes stupidity works. Let's talk to the dying mutant. It was over so fast. My brothers were gone. Could not help. Who are you? I, I'm, I can't remember. I was the leader of it. Maybe my holodisc. A mutant weakly hands you a bloody holodisc. Where did you come from? We, we were scouting for primes. Came from, from the Northwest. Who sent you? Father, where are you, father? Yes, master. The mutant breathes his last breath and collapses. Okay, so he died. Do you have anything? You have a radio. We'll take the radio. Okay, now, please don't let there be another death claw in this frickin' cave. We are in so much trouble if that's the case, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Let's just scour it. 
I wish we could bring back its head as proof we killed it. Like, why would people believe that I killed the Deathclaw? I guess I could lead him to the cave and be like, hey, look, see? Dead Deathclaw. Eggshells? Not really finding anything in here. I did get that, uh, holodisc, though. So... How did we use those? Which one is this? Mutant transmissions. That's the one we want. That does nothing. Um... Pip boy Status... Uh, I have no idea how to use the bloody thing. Use, use... Some strange marking on it. Take this, please. I want it back in here. There we go. Now... Can I do anything with this? Like that? There we go, okay. Downloading data... So we go back to the Pip-Boy. Mutant transmissions. Oh, that's long. All right, here we go. Message sent. Base, this is Scavenger Team 2. Come in, over. Message received. Reading loud and clear. Go ahead, over. Message sent. We've collected four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. They're not too badly contaminated. Tell the lieutenant that we're sending them ahead. They might be able to survive the process. We're going to wait here for a few more days. Message received. Roger that. Where any casualties occur during the acquisition, over. Message sent. Negative. Another clean sweep. Base. Also tell Scavenger Team 1 that we've run across... Uh, across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from the perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts reported that there was something big and fast seen near our camp last night. I'll be checking it out personally at 0600 hours tomorrow morning. Over. Message received. Copy. We'll be awaiting a report. If possible, try to capture it. The master would be very pleased. Over. Okay, so it seems like these guys are the ones that are capturing the caravans. So it's not necessarily the death claw, it's mutants. Interesting. All right, well, that seems like it's everything in here. Cool, cool. Job done. We're out of here. We did it, guys. We got something done. Yay. Cool. Now, how the frick do we get out of here? There we go. Um, so we need to go tell... The guy at Fargo Traders, and it is dark now. And there are these psychos down here. I'm gonna save is what I'm gonna do. I just killed that thing. We're not doing that again. I feel like I got lucky. Amazingly managed to kill Deathclaw. Oh, I can't, won't fit. So, killed Deathclaw. There we go. And I suppose we'll just spend the night on the street. Cannot rest at this location. Well, why the frick not? Can I rest here? How dare you tell me I can't rest on the street? Maybe because those bad guys were right next to us? Rest until morning. And then one more hour, so it's light. And let's go talk to this dude. Hey you, uh, Butch. Took care of your deathclaw problem. Well, what do you got for me? It was mutants. What, do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? Been there, saw that, killed it. <laughs> you... You killed it? Yeah. Well... It was I, easy. Uh, um... Uh, where did these mutants come from? 
I don't know yet, but they have an outpost in the mountains. An outpost? Well, um, well, uh, I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, cause uh, I got stuff to do, okay? Wait. Money. Give me money. I killed Deathclaw. Me need money. Seriously, I should get something out of that. I found out what happened to the missing caravans. Really? So who are the bastards? The water merchants? Yeah, that's them. They're out to get you. They want your Brahmin. Actually, it was a group of these huge mutants. Some huge mutants are destroying my caravans? That's almost as good as the Deathclaw story. No, really, dude. I killed the Death Lizard and found a dying mutant. Check the Solidesk out. I got it off one of the raiding mutants. Hey, I know how to use one of those. Butch got some gizmo from some scout from the Brotherhood a long time ago that could read those things. Let's see. Sorry, I didn't believe you. Ooh, this guy's giving me money. Oops, I got sidetracked by the money. <laughs> what else is he saying? Sorry, I didn't believe you. This does not bode well for the good guys. Well, here's your 500 hub bucks. Hell, make it 800, and thanks for the information. If you need any more work, you will always be welcome. Thank you. I knew I should have got money for that. Let's go tell uh, the lady down here, too. Was it her? I'm going to go around and tell everybody. Brag about what we did. Um, hello, nice to see you again. I'm uh, not sure she cares. Can I ask you some questions? What do you know about the Deathclaw? Well, I thought that it was destroying the caravans, but I guess not. It's still out there, though. It is not. I killed it. There are too many rumors floating around for it not to exist. I'm telling you, I killed it. Um, no, I don't think we could tell her. Another question about the missing caravans. She doesn't seem like she cares, so let's go tell Harold. Which way was Harold? This way? Beth. That was her name. It's run by Beth. I think Harold was over here. Or did I get turned around? Yeah, I think I got turned around. I need to go up and then over. Yeah, up this way, past the uh, police station, and then right, and over in that place over there. And there's that group in there. I can't run that way, so we'll go this way. They're very cranky in there for some reason. Where's my blankie? You know what, dude? I would get you a blankie if I could for telling me where that Deathclaw was. Can I talk to him anymore? I can, but no new information. So. Yeah, Beth, Beth, Shusha, Beth. Like Harold, you talk Harold, Harold tell you story, Slappy help them. Just a circle of dialogue. Oh, in we go. It's probably the same with Harold, too. Oh, but hey, we'll it's you again. Here you Anything go, Harold. I, do for you? I need info on the Deathclaw, and Ooh, here you're the man. That thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Grenades help, well, Harold. I can't look at it. Look All right, deep. well, we can't tell anybody else what we did, so 
that's that. Time to change tracks. I was on a mission to find that third caravan. It's actually what I was doing when I happened upon Slappy here. Let's see if we can do that, and then maybe we'll call it. Um, there's Fargo. At least we actually managed to get something done today. And if I could figure out where that third caravan is, I'd be doing real good. Okay, I know we're missing a section of town because the Thieves Guild said something about wanting me to rob somebody in like high town. And I think it might be over here. Have we been here? And I'm hoping that's where the other caravan is too. Hey, people, come this way. Where are you? Come on. Just as a side note, I really do feel like I should have been able to like cut the death claw's head off <laughs> and bring it back <laughs> like a trophy. Alas, it would not let me. Yeah, I don't think we've been here, right? This seems unfamiliar. So let's check this place out. Who are you? High Tower. That's where it is. This house is off limits to the lake's view. Well, I won't go in there then. Actually, can I go in? Are you guys gonna attack me? I don't see anybody in there. Let's head out. You better leave. Darren Hightower doesn't like visitors. How about you? Options. Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Hightower. I have an appointment with Mr. Hightower. I'm running very late. Let me in. Well, I don't have an appointment. Let's just try this. Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Hightower. He doesn't see just anybody. Um, how do I set up an appointment with him? You're not getting in here? Beat it, Skag. Well, screw you, buddy. Oh, now they won't talk to me. I said the wrong thing. And I didn't even tell him to go screw himself out loud. Well, we'll come back later. And I'm not seeing any caravans, which was sort of the purpose of coming here. So am I missing another area, or am I just missing something? I mean, I'm definitely missing something. Just what is the question? Either another area, the caravan, or that there's not a caravan. <laughs> Let's go talk to one of the guards out here and see what they'll tell us. You. Or you. Somebody. No, I don't have any commodities to declare. Maltese Falcon, general store. Move along. I just want directions, please. What I need is a freaking map. I mean, there's this map, but yeah, <laughs> not helpful. Hub, downtown, yeah, that's next to useless, especially for me. Am I crazy? I swear they said the third caravan. Let's go try outside. That's my last hope. Those guys were chattier out here. There was like a farmer or someone. Where was he? In here? No, this is a shed. Um, maybe this one. This guy was chatty before. Maybe he'll talk to us again. No, there's nobody in there. 
Was it this way? Somewhere. There's a dude. A chatty dude. I need to talk to him. Maybe in here. Who are you? Will you talk to me? No. Was it you? No, it's just a farmer. I mean, I think my guy was a farmer, but this is a random farmer. No. You, was it you? Aha, I found the chatty dude. Can you tell me a little bit about the hub? It's a sprawling city. Largest I've seen in my life. The center of town lies to the south. The other areas branching off each direction from there. If I was looking for a job, where would be a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint on one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to Fargo traders, but I've worked with all of them. Like how he says that too. All of them, not both of them, all of them. I swear, I feel like somebody said something about there being three. Huh. Wait a second, is it the water merchants? Is that who he's talking about? Is it the water merchants? Maybe that's it. Hmm, that just occurred to me. Let's talk to this guy over here. There was somebody over here that like worked with all of them. I think maybe over this way, actually. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking now. I think the third one might be the uh, water merchant. No, he's not over there. Let's try this one. Because they're a caravan, right? I mean, they're not like the type I was thinking of, but they're definitely a caravan. You. Dan. <sighs> Dan doesn't want to talk anymore. Let's go talk to the water merchants. Maybe we could get a job from them. Either way, I think it's about time to uh, call it. I'm just gonna wander down here. And I'm sorta of thinking maybe taking one more whack at, I don't know, somebody, just for fun. Either those psychos up there, or what's the dude's name that runs the Maltese Falcon? That guy? Just for the heck of it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm feeling it's promising. You know, we took out a death claw, we could take them out. <laughs> I mean, probably not, but it'd be fun to try. I so got lucky with that. Demon lizard. Okay, in here. You. Anybody in here want to give me a job? Uh, no. It's just them talking about water cells. Talk to Martha if you want a job. Well, who's Martha? You're not Martha, are you? No, Master Merchant. So, no, not Martha, but where's Martha? Any of you? You Martha? How about you? I need a bath? Okay. <laughs> well, you guys should have water. Take a bath. Merchant guard, employees, no. 
I don't see no Martha. Should we go check down here? Anybody in here? Hiding in the corners? No? Alright. Well, where the frick is Martha? You, are you Martha? No? How about over here? Um, I don't see anybody in here either. Well, we'll find, we'll find Martha next time. But I'm still thinking this must be the third caravan that I was missing. So, last thing we're gonna do is head over to the police station and take a whack at, I don't remember what the frick the guy's name is. Whatever his name is, we're gonna go try to kill him. But I'm gonna save first, cause I mean, probably gonna fail. <laughs> Should we just wish save over this one? Yeah, we'll do that. Yep. Um, actually no, let's go on to the next one. Going to kill. What's his name? All right, and weaponry. I'm gonna try the grenade approach again and get out my good gun and talk to the sheriff. Decker, that's his name. Let's go try to kill Decker. Don't whip me, you butthead. 51%. Eh, good enough odds. Wow, I like that. Do it again. Well, we missed. Hit for 12. Punch. I am very injured. And now I'm dead. So, <laughs> did not Your work. Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die. As you have. Yeah, yeah. Be dramatic about it. Shall we try one more? Let's give it one more shot. Maybe I'll heal up though, but I only have two stem packs, so our chances are not good. Let's face it. Oh yeah, I think I lost my gun in that uh, death claw cave. I forgot to pick it back up. Uh, here we go again. Well. Who should we try this time? That's Kane, right? Maybe I'll try him, because he, uh, he always comes over to try to kill me, so. 32%, 15%. Why are you less? You're closer. I don't know, armor maybe? That one has the best shot. All right, we'll just try Decker. Twenty-eight hit points. We knocked out. Now, forty-three percent. And we missed. Oh. 
Can you kill her? No. Get him, boy. I'll be back, she says. And immediate death again. So the darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Thanks. I appreciate the sentiment. Well, failure. But I'm going to call it. I just want to see if I can run back to that cave. Wait, it's this way. The cave where I think I lost my gun. Probably can't find it. I'm not even sure where I dropped it, but or when I dropped it. We'll go look. Let's see, we need to head down to our bud Slappy. We'll head for the nice crazy guy while avoiding the mean crazy guys. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yes, whatever you say, Slappy. Yeah, yeah, death clock. You take me there? Thank you. So if I did drop it, it would have been probably somewhere over here where I was fighting the death claw. But I'm not seeing it. All I see is blood. Well, it's gone. Gone forever. Darn it. Oh well, I wasn't that attached to that one anyway. I mean, frankly, I'm not even sure that's what happened to it, but I can only presume I was screwing around with the weapons and accidentally dropped it. Which I'll try to make a note of it for when I'm editing this later, even though I can't really do anything about it, but you know, just to see what happened. All right. For the fun of it, we're here, so let's take one more shot at these guys, too. The jerks. And I'm gonna have to get closer. Not you, don't get too close. Don't go in, don't go in, dog meat. They killed my dog. Oh, no, they didn't. They just knocked him down. Still. <gasps> now they did. You freaking buttheads. I mean, we're not going to save on that. My dog's dead. That's not allowed, but I'm going to try to burn him to death, though. And now I'm dead. Okay, the well... The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. On that grim note, we're out of here. So, uh, well, what do we get done? Basically, we got the Death Claw killed, which was our major achievement. And then we decided that the water merchants were probably the third caravan I was looking for. So we'll try to find Martha next time and get a job. And then we can kind of ride out the time until we could go on that caravan run with the Crimson Caravan. We have to wait a few days on that yet. It'll be in like a week. And we have to make a decision about the Thieves Guild, whether we want to break into that one place or, you know, go, go tell on them, which has sort of been my MO so far, but we'll decide one way or the other. So that is where we're going to call it. And as always, I do thank you for joining us here in the apocalypse and hopefully you'll join us again next time. So thank you again and bye bye.